Thanks for joining us, everyone. My name is James Tartsky, and I'm a product line manager at AFL. Today, we're here to talk about AFL's new handhold, the Switchblade Fiber Containment Vault. With me here today is Andrew Bramblett, one of the inventors of the Switchblade. Welcome. James, thanks for having me. So Switchblade is AFL's first entry into the world of handholds, and a lot of thought has gone into creating a product that aligns with AFL's portfolio of high-density, innovative solutions. So Andrew, what inspired you and your team to create this new product? James, so not much has changed in the world of telecommunications handholds. Um, you know, my partner and I identified uh, some issues uh, in market that we wanted to come up with solutions for. Mm -hmm. So that, that really was where we started down the road of, of getting to the switchblade. So Andrew, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of your past experiences before joining the switchblade team? Well, James, I've been in telecommunications for over 20 years, um, and specifically in construction. Uh, my background uh, before that was general construction. So, you know, when I came into telecom, I, I didn't have the, the same perspective that everybody else in telecom did. Uh, you know, I, I looked at it as a fresh perspective. I, I certainly have been called uh, a cowboy uh, more than once by colleagues, but we, uh, we wanted to have the best solution uh, possible for everything we did. So we looked at methods, we looked at materials, and we constantly evaluated those for the most effective way to do things. So having a fresh perspective can really help drive innovation in a market. So why don't you tell us a bit about some of your experiences with other handholds and why that needed to change? Uh, in the summer of 2008, um, fuel prices rose dramatically, uh, shipping costs increased, so we were looking at ways to save money uh, without compromising the integrity of our network. Mm -hmm. So we looked at handholds first. Um, it's a very bulky, heavy item uh, that mostly shipped air. So we, we vetted new products for the network, uh, found, found a solution, and then once prices kind of stabilized, uh, you know, we were on to bigger and better uh, problems to solve. But it always bothered me that we, we never found that perfect solution um, that would, would help with storage, shipping, uh, but also help with um, network deployments. You know, network deployments and speed to network are incredibly crucial. I mean, it, it's, speed to network is everything. We want uh, to, you know, maintain customer satisfaction there. It's get faster revenues. Uh, we are, um, we can get absolute advantage, which creates a, a situation where crews can go uh, to, to addi additional jobs and gain, gain more ground. So that's the things we were looking at when we, when we tried to solve this problem in the beginning. Great. So what would you say was the one feature that made you go, okay, the market needs a new handhold? So... <laughs> It's, it's very difficult to say what one feature as it is um, what one problem we're solving. You know, James, there are a few things about the utility industry that is attractive. It's, uh, you know, w with the, the old adage of, you know, this is the way we've always done it, so that's the way we're going to do. With few exceptions, it, it fits the utility industry very well. Shipping and storage uh, certainly are big factors. Network deployment, as we touched on earlier, a uh, bigger factor. Um, you know, really we looked at the crews and, and I always focused on the crews, what made the crews more efficient, more effective, um, what was lighter on them. Um, we looked at mitigating risk. And so from that um, is where the switchblade was born. Additionally, um, increased driver distracted accidents um, really prompted us to find ways to have a smaller footprint on the rights of way. So we, we looked at it from, from that terms of mitigating risk as well. I can see why that would make a big difference. So we developed the switchblade. We've got a folding vault that helps mitigate some of those risks and factors that you were talking about. And it still meets industry requirements, which is obviously critical. So that being said, how's it been received by customers so far? You know, our feedback has been amazing. Um, we've been very fortunate uh, and we've had some, some customers take some, some risk and R&D on us. And so, um, you know, that, that's paid off for them and for us. So, you know, I, I guess our best uh, comment would be, 
the switchblade is the haiku for handholds. And I appreciate that so much um, in, in terms of elegance and design. So are there any other benefits that customers have seen while getting hands-on with these products or any compromises they've had to make? You know, I think when you, when you seek to solve a problem, you often create additional problems. Uh, and so then you have a trade-off of um, you know, risk reward. So that's really not who we are. We wanted to solve every problem. We wanted to meet function. We wanted to meet elegance was something that uh, not necessarily we, we set out to meet, but certainly we, uh, we enjoy hearing that. Um, but we wanted to meet spec. We wanted to solve everybody's issue uh, from the front office to the last guy on the, in the hole. We wanted a handhold that performed um, not only from an a engineering specification, we wanted something to perform in the real world because there is a difference. I mean, the real world environment is, is fraught with uh, weather changes and environmental changes, soil. Um, so, you know, we set out to do that. My partner and I spent a lot of time vetting our handhold. And so we wanted to make sure that we were giving the market the best handhold. So without compromise. So we wanted uh, a stackable handhold, one that was easy to deploy uh, without mechanical advantage. Uh, we wanted uh, to um, put the best handhold out there. And I believe we have the best, best product out there. I mean, if you like doing things slow, you will not like our product as well. That's great to hear. I'm sure we're both looking forward to a lot more users getting hands-on with this switchblade. So, Andrew, thank you so much for just giving us that bit of insight into the creation, the inception of the switchblade product. James, it's been my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us. We look forward to partnering with you on your next Telcom build.